Yeah, the chat's good. Um, Cassandra wanted to know about the kind of sponges you used, and I kind of filled her oh, in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in case anybody wants to hear about this, the, um, this what I use here is technically it's called pick and pluck foam. And I learned that by trial and error of Google searching. But the first ones that I used, and probably this one here also, was from the insert, the, the inside piece of foam layering in an Airfloat art shipping box where you take out part of the perforated foam, put your painting in there. Oh, well, yeah. the, problem with that, the problem with that is that those boxes are really expensive. So once yeah. you've used up all of your little part that you took out, then you're like, well, where am I going to find more of this? You know, you don't want to buy a box just to get the foam. So I did some searching, some, you know, strategic words, and I found out that it's called pick and pluck foam. Sometimes it's called, uh, I can't remember what else it's called, something similar to that. But pick and pluck, if you look up pick and pluck foam, you'll find it. And it's nice because it just comes in these perforated squares. And then I'll, I'll cut that into, into a wedge shape, so like this. I'll cut it not not exactly corner to corner, but almost, so that I'll have then I'll have then two little anvil shapes that have these little ends that are like a quarter inch brush, and that's what I'll paint with. And I came across this addiction because, like I say, when I first started painting small, mostly the small paintings like this, and I started doing the toned underpaintings with the different primers. I was using little bristle brushes and I just got too tight and I just, and then I didn't want to clean the brushes. I hate cleaning brushes. So I started using the, uh, I got some of those foam brushes that you get like a Hobby Lobby that have a handle on them. Yeah. And I quickly found out that the handle is completely useless because you have to hold the sponge by the tip in order to get that control. You have to hold it way up there. I'm like, well, this, this handle is just useless. So all I really needed was the sponge itself. So I, I realized, yeah. you know, yeah, when I found that, you know, I had some of those boxes and when I took another look at the sponge that I had taken out, I'm like, oh, there's some sponge without a handle. And I've, I've never looked back. I've been using these ever since. <laughs> I'm just completely addicted.